Okay. This plots the fractal, Julia said, and it's determined by the constant C, which is this number there, that's the input. And you can see the input information is recorded here under input information. So negative four is the real part of C, that's the RE, and the imaginary part of C is IMC, which is 0.65. And so the imaginary portion is just the number that's multiplied by i, which is the square root of negative 1. So this is the plot that you get. And here's the iteration rule, which is really not of too much importance. But the set is the boundary of the set of the complex numbers that are an element of c. And c is a set of numbers uh, in which that the orbit of, or the values of z sub n, which is what you're calculating above, must lie within this fractal here, which is the Mandelbrot set. So here you see the Julia set is totally disconnected. That means that you picked a constant that lies outside of the Mandelbrot set, or rather you picked a c value, which is your complex number, which is a constant, uh, uh, an imaginary number. Your imaginary number lies outside the Mandelbrot set, and even though you get a fractal, your Julia set is not connected. So if we change these coordinates, so we can keep negative 4, but if we lower 0.65, the, the imaginary part, to say 3.5, and we regenerate the plot, that red dot should lie within. So here you have a, a non-fancy fractal, but your Julia set is connected and your red dot lies inside the Mandelbrot set, okay?